One of the biggest side effects that our patients here at Steel Health and Hormone Center suffer from when taking terzepatide is nausea, okay? Let me make a disclaimer real quick. I'm not a doctor. This isn't medical advice. You should always work with a qualified medical professional before doing any medication, like we have here at Steel Health and Hormone Center. Now let's talk about nausea. Again, that's the biggest issue that we see our patients suffer from, and I'm going to give you some steps to discuss with your doctor on how to minimize nausea while taking terzepatide. The first one, and this is what I did for myself, was more frequent, smaller doses. So microdosing the medication. So I noticed if I took a dose at first, I would be, I would be sick for at least 24 hours. Um, eventually that subsided. So that's when you kind of have an option here. You can increase the dose, but instead what I did is I just increased the frequency. So instead of having a larger dose every seven days, I noticed that if I have the same dose every five days, the nausea kind of wore off. So that's the first thing to discuss with your doctor. Maybe you don't actually take 2.5 milligrams, which is the standard starting dose. Instead, maybe what you do is you take one milligram every several days. That way the total weekly drug load may be the same, but how you spaced it out is differently to hopefully minimize side effects. And again, that's something for you to discuss with your doctor, but I did it for myself. And if you're interested in knowing my experience with terzepatide, I'm gonna link it at the end of this video. And that worked very well. The second thing you can do that we do here at Steel Health and Hormone Center to help with our patients' nausea is the time that you're taking the medication. So when people take it in the morning, they typically feel sick most of that afternoon and the following day and sometimes the day after that. What we noticed is that if somebody takes it at night, maybe not right before bed, but let's say right after dinner, they tend to sleep through part of that nausea. They may still wake up with a little bit of nausea, but they sleep through a good portion of it. So you may experiment with the time of administration of this medication. The third thing that we do here at Steel Health and Hormone Center, you can discuss with your doctor, is the minimal effective dose. Again, if you're losing weight on 2.5 milligrams or if you're microdosing it, there's no reason to go up, in my opinion, which is non-medical and what we do here. So you want to see sustained and reasonable weight loss. Not only will that minimize side effects, but it's also gonna help preserve lean tissue, which I just did a video on that. I'll also link that at the end of this video. So those are the first three things. So microdosing, time of administration, and using the minimal effective dose. After that, this is more experiential. This is just something that I've noticed with our patients here. It has to do with the food choices. So I noticed that people who want to eat the standard American diet and just take this medication, not only suffer from a lot more nausea, but they also suffer from a lot more diarrhea. So I think that this medication can be very useful, but I think it should just be part of a total holistic approach to improving your health. So don't just take a shot and continue to eat the same bullshit food that you were eating before. Use this as the catalyst to make positive changes in your life. I noticed that with our patients, people that eat like shit feel like shit while taking this medication. So again, try to make some positive changes. The last thing that we do, and we do this for people that have persistent nausea, even if we've tried the other four steps, is co-administering Zofran with the medication. So that is something that if you have a good HRT clinic, medical weight loss clinic, they should be able to write that script for you. Just have some Zofran on hand or you take it the day that you take your shot, maybe a couple days after, and that seems to help people with nausea a lot. So now let's recap. Number one, microdosing, splitting up the same amount of medication over multiple small doses. Number two, it's the time of administration. Taking it at night seems to help people sleep through the worst part of it. Number three, minimal effective dose. Number four, cleaning up your diet. And then lastly, if you've tried all of those things, number five, having your qualified medical professional co-write you a script for Zofran. So look guys, if you've learned anything, do me a favor, like the video. If you're in the state of Pennsylvania, you're interested in medical weight loss or hormone replacement therapy, then reach out to my clinic, Steel Health and Hormone Center. If you're interested in learning more content like this, what I'm gonna do in the very near future, I'm starting testosterone replacement therapy. I'll take you from what that looks like at the very beginning to actually administering the medication and the results that I get out of it. So subscribe to the channel if you're interested in that. I'm Alex Wallace, reach out to Steel Health and Hormone Center, and I'll see you in the next video.